So it is no surprise that AI technology is taking the creative world by storm and with utilizing AI technology with print on demand, this can actually make things easier in regards to finding the exact element you want to use on your print on demand product. So in today's video, I'm teaching you how to use AI to create amazing elements to use for your print on demand products and how to take that element and create a design you can sell right now on Etsy. I'm sure this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, the main tool that we're going to utilize today to create this AI design for our print on demand business is Creative Fabrica's Spark. So if you want a look into what AI can do with Creative Spark, you can head over to Spark and go all the way down to browse all creative and this will just give you a better understanding of what is possible with AI and Creative Fabrica. I mean, they have a ton of different things you can do with AI. And this just really showcases what this technology can do and really what you can create for your own print on demand product. Now, of course, we don't want to have anything on our Etsy shop that's trademarked like the Mickey Mouse or the Margaret Brothers, but you do see the ability to create some amazing art designs just by using a couple of different prompts that you can put into Creative Spark and it will output this type of design here. And there is a huge opportunity for us to really scale our Etsy shops utilizing these amazing AI designs all right so the first place we want to look at is spark art and we want to jump in and actually create a prompt for us to see what type of things will come up for us and then we can find some type of ai art that will fit great for our print on demand and design so from here we want to go ahead and put a prompt and if you just put something in let's just say tiger and you just hit ignite, then you're not gonna get really creative things that come out of this, especially something for a print on demand product. And so the better you are with your prompts and more specific you are with your prompts, the better the results will be. So as you can see here, Creative Spark is generating for us a tiger, but we have that ultra realistic tiger in front of us. And again, this would be great if we're selling, you know, different printables, uh, maybe some wall art decor, but because we are selling t-shirts, we want something that may be a little bit more cartoonish. So Creative Fabrica does give us some unique ways for us to really build out this prompt in regards to how this particular tiger is going to look. We have illustration, painting, coloring pages, watercolor, photograph, kawaii, cartoon, and hyper-realistic. What I see to work best in regards to our print on demand business is using the kawaii type of art. So as we have the kawaii art style selected, let's go ahead and hit ignite and see what type of things come up and see how different that is from what we had originally with this first prompt. All right, so as you can see here, the style has changed drastically and this is more of stuff that we can use for a print on demand product, like a t-shirt or maybe like print on demand stickers or maybe print on demand uh, hats or even tote bags, mugs. I mean, this is a style we definitely want to target. Now, of course, you know, all of the results may not be the best. So I always encourage you to hit ignite again and see what new things are coming up. But as you can see, the art style is entirely different. And this gives you more opportunities to really target specific areas in regards to print on demand products. Again, the bottom one could be great for wall art designs if you want to go ahead and do that. But in our case today, for print on demand t-shirts, I would more go in line with what we have at the top as this is perfect for the art style we want to create. Now, one little trick to actually create this to be more of a clip art design is to go up to the front of our prompt and just simply put in the word sticker. And as we do this, this will give us more of an outline for us to remove later on in our illustrating program and for us to really focus on that main design that we can add to our t-shirt product. So as you can see, just adding in that word sticker in the beginning allow us to have a particular image that we can definitely crop out and utilize for our print on demand product. And only thing we have to do here is simply click this and download this to our own device for us to use on our print on demand product. So you can also create a public file where you can publish this so other people can use this as well. So if we are ready to download our particular image, only thing we have to do here is hit publish as this would give us the option 
to download this to our computer as we have it here so we can download this and utilize this for our print on demand business all right so one thing we definitely want to do is take this design remove the background from it so we can just have our main element so we can use this on a print on demand t-shirt and start selling this on etsy so from here i'm going to open up this design into one of my programs called pixlr and from there we'll have some additional tools to remove that background so this can be ready to put on a t-shirt so now i am in pixlr i am using the e version to do this all i want to do now is go to open image and find exactly where my image is i want to set this just to be ultra for now and now we have our image here now for me to remove the background to this there's a couple of tools that i want us to utilize and the first thing is this i want to create a new layer so i can actually have a transparent background to put this on so the first thing i do here is go to layers add new i drop this new layer down go over to my settings here and just simply click mask now from there, we'll have a transparent background that this will be on once we remove this color from it. All right, so with my image selected, I can head over to layer and I can go to AI auto mask. And what it will do is that it will remove the background for me, as you can see here. But as you notice, we still have the sticker outline that we want to remove because we're not selling a sticker right now, but we definitely want to use this on a print on demand t-shirt. So the way I remove the white from here is to simply go into the wand tool. And what this will do is that it will auto select the entire white area for it to be removed. And so I simply click it here and it will select that entire space as you see here the ant trail is visible and all i want to do is hit delete on my keyboard and it will remove most of that white out of the way now i still have that shadow here that i want removed and all i have to do again with the wand tool selected is hover over the blue and click on that area there and the wand tool will automatically select that area and then i want to hit delete and as you can see now that is removed same thing here for the bottom i just want to go and clean up this image here so that everything is removed for me just to have the main tiger in the shot and for me to later clean up this image so it can be ready for me to place on my print on demand t-shirt all right, so most of the white is gone. Now we just have this outline that we need to clean up. So I want to go ahead and deselect this here because I want to go to the erase tool and this will give us the option to clean up our image. Now, before we start erasing the outline here, I wanna go into my brush settings. I wanna make my brush a little bit small because I don't want to hover over our main image here. And instead of the softest being at 100, I want to dial this down to being at zero. I want to zoom in and now I can go ahead and erase this area here with all the white that we have. If we do want to increase our brush size, we go back to the settings and make it a little bit larger. And now we have more space for us to erase that outline image. So again, we want to go over our entire image here just to clean this up. And now this will be ready for us to utilize on our print on demand product. So now everything looks extremely well here. We have that white outer area removed as well as that outline removed. Now we can go ahead and download this to our computer, upload this into Canva, add in some text to finalize our overall design. All right, so here is our design we grabbed from a Creative Fabric of Spark, this tiger here. And the only thing we did here, we just added in some text, happy tiger. And as you can see, having this design right there in the middle can really make it easy for you to create a t-shirt design because again, you have your own original element you created using their AI technology. And all you have to do is upload this to your print on demand provider and then create a mock-up for it and then start selling this on Etsy. And with Mother's Day just around the corner and again, matching t-shirts are always selling well year round. Again, we can sell t-shirts like this, targeting the mom 
and the baby niche or the mom and toddler niche. And we can definitely create unique designs ongoing with different type of animal, just not tigers, but we can do bears, we can do lions, we can do fish, we can do koalas. I mean, there's the ideas of what we can do is truly endless with what we can create. And so again, using this Creative Spark technology can really speed up your design process and bring something entirely new into the Etsy marketplace and start creating your own designs there. So as you can see, utilizing AI art could actually be a great resource for you to use for your print on demand business. Now, again, if you want to check out Creative Fabric or Spark on your own, I make sure I leave all the details along with a discount code in my description box below for you to see if this is best for your print on demand business. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to create a full Etsy listing for this print on demand product. However, if you want to learn my full step of getting started with print on demand, then make sure you check out this next video here. And if you like content like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.